okay? Or divided by the square root of 3. So if I have a number divided by the five, square root of 3, one thing you guys need to know, if you were to plug in the square root of 3 into your calculator, it goes on and on and on and on and on forever. It's an irrational number. Yeah. So what we want to do is, what this is called is called rationalizing the denominator. And what we want to do is we don't want to divide. Remember, dividing says how many times does a number divide, right, multiply into another number. So we're saying how many times does this number divide into 5? Well, one thing, this is an irrational number. It goes on and on forever. So you're never going to get an exact answer, right? So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the square root. We want to undo the square root. Now, the only thing that we've learned is we know that the square root of x squared equals x. The square root of 3 squared equals 3. So if I can somehow multiply this to give it to me by square root of 3 squared, I can get rid of the square root. Does that make sense? If I can get this number to square root of 3 squared, I can get rid of the square root. right? So what do I need to multiply the square root of 3 by? Well, you'd think 3, right? But remember, can I multiply a number times the square root? It has, the only way I can multiply 3 inside the square root is if I take the square root of 3. Yeah, absolutely. But let's go and take a look at something. If I said 1 half, right, and if I multiply by 3 over 3, that's equal to 3 6. Is 3 6 the same thing as 1 half? Yeah. Yes. What about if I took 1 half and just multiplied by 3 on the bottom? Then I'd get um, 1 over 6. Right? If I just multiply by 3 on the bottom, I get 1 6. Is 1 6 the same thing as 1 half? No. no. So to keep this problem equal, what we call an equivalent fraction, whatever I multiply on the bottom, I need to multiply on the top. So by doing this, I now get. 5 times square root of 3 over the square root of 3 squared. And ladies and gentlemen, did we figure out what the square root of 3 squared was? 3. So your final answer, which you're going to have to be able to write out, is going to be 5 square root of 3 divided by 3.